All right. So today we're going to switch gears um, just a little bit because um, one thing that I do understand and one thing I discovered was that all the Photoshop work that you do is awesome and it's great. However, you know, that's kind of like the gateway drug. Um, you know, Photoshop only puts pieces on the web, um, but how do you actually put those pieces into place? And over here in Dreamweaver, um, like I said before, kind of coming out of double edged sword. Uh, clients of mine we do collaborative projects um, some of them do know a little bit of HTML uh, Java and CSS so um, it's nice to be able to work collaboratively on a piece um, versus have to do it all yourself so I'm going to show you here today how to locate um, uh, you know your website in Dreamweaver to FTP it up um, get your file transfer protocol popping correctly so what we're going to do here is we're going to go over here to new site in Dreamweaver and what we're going to do is we're going to give the site a name now on either end it doesn't matter honestly because um, you can call your site whatever you want to call your site um, for you to remember as far as your notes and everything um, it's not going to paste for me maybe I didn't copy it let me try to copy it again um, I'm gonna call this one you know driving school and when we we hit the little button right over in here, the little file button. We're going to go over and we're going to connect this um, website to a folder. So you always have to definitely have to have your asset folders. And right here is the website, the folder where the website lives on my local machine. So I'm going to go ahead and choose that right here. Come over here to the server and I'm going to hit the little plus button and you can call your website once again right here whatever you desire to call it on either end this doesn't matter capital letters spacing whatever now the rest of it is very fine-tuned you definitely have to have it um, you know setting here correctly um, I use a program called Adobe Business Catalyst um, all of our um, you know FTPs and all of our sites are protected with security so therefore we instead of going through a FTP we go through a SFTP and you just see the SS security it should automatically port over to 22 but if it's not on 22 go ahead and change that to 22 um, as far as the address of the website and when I located the website it automatically gave me the FTP information this is where I'm getting this information right here from so um, here is the website with the um, the unique um, URL has the business catalyst in the back of it as like a temporary location alright so over here is my username um, anytime you're locating a site in Adobe Business Catalyst it's going to be the website forward slash and your email address now I'm going to drop my password in here I don't know my password and um, there it is right there. I've shared my password with the world. It's dot, 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 dot. I use that for everything. Um, so go ahead, break into my accounts. <laughs> uh, as far as the root directory, just go ahead and just do a forward slash is all you need. The web URL information is already down in here. Um, it automatically pulls from up here as far as your, uh, you know, FTP information. And we'll go ahead and go test it out here. And we hit the test there, and it says it successfully found the location. Um, it's connected to the site. So we're going to just go ahead and save everything. And you see everything starts pulling over. Um, don't really have to worry about too much cloaking with Adobe Business Catalyst, but with other sites, you do have to deal with a lot of different, you know, um, cloaking in your sites and everything. So what I'm going to do here real quick is I'm going to go over here to um, the... Uh, remote server and then I'm gonna pop open my little dialog box over here now this is very important first of all let's go over here to the web real fast and let's open up another window here and um, I do believe I saved it yeah I sure did so right over here is the site as is right now here's what it looks like right here I just have a header welcome to you know hello welcome to driving school um, and then there's you know little default stuff right here right now um, it's gonna be an awesome site uh, when it gets done I'll update this video and let you know put the link below you can come check it out so let's go back over to the local real fast and we're gonna twirl this down over here under the themes 
I just happen to know where it's at but this is where the default home page is and I called it default so when we come over here and look at it in Dreamweaver it looks pretty cool it looks okay over here um, this little button up here the little world button you can go over here hit Safari and you notice my URL is a little different because it's showing it from my local machine here so I have file four slash four slash four slash user you know so on and so forth okay so here's the site right here as it looks versus right here so everything kind of transferred over properly so let's go over here and just change one thing to make sure um, you know everything's working properly so let's go say um, you know hi whatever and we're gonna come over here we're gonna refresh that I'm gonna save it by hitting command s and then I'm going to come over here to my little dialog box twirl down my remote and bring my default over on top I don't like to use the get input button they kinda of get input too much <laughs> so let's go ahead and go to the web so this is the the web link right here and the word hi transferred over everything is working properly everything is connected very well now here's what's really important now working on the collaborative piece this is very 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 important when you first open up your Dreamweaver um, and here's what you're looking at you know you got your site most of the time is disconnected so you have to connect it right here connect to the remote server once you connect to that remote server I highly recommend the twirl the little box open here to see all your files and grab your page that you're about to work on and move this page over from the remote to the local and drop it um, you know should dependent files be included in the transfer it's not necessary go ahead and hit no and then go ahead and close it out make sure that you close this page right here and reopen your default page right here to make sure that if you know me on my end or your partner on their end has done a little bit of work and they've already kind of filled out you know this portion right here and done all kind of different stuff whatever the case may be you don't want to go in and start from your local on an old version and then start you know doing whatever you need to do and when you push it to the remote you're going to override their work very 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 important so um you know just be aware of that and that's how you locate the website and um i look forward to you know doing a collaborative piece with anybody interested in this video so get with me and this build um, you know bootstrap is open source you know um, Twitter was built on bootstrap and hey you know let's build the next Twitter <laughs> or something better than Twitter so uh, other than that thanks for watching the video and I will see you guys in the next tutorial peace out holla